Hi everyone, I'm LT Snake Pliskin back with another Elk Finance video tutorial. Today's going to be a complicated one. So basically, if you're stuck uh, in an old farm, uh, and my previous video uh, through interacting with the contract, if that didn't work for you because the contract wasn't verified, so a really specific situation, um, then this is the video for you. I'm going to post the steps below this as well. It can get kind of complicated because we're going to be using Remix uh, to deploy a contract. Um, basically what happened is some of these block explorers uh, won't let us verify contracts all of a sudden that were previously verified. So for now, we will have to use this method if you've got some, um, you know, some, some uh, crypto stuck in our, uh, our old elk farms. So without any further ado, let's get started. Oh, I should mention, uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Okay, so again, this is gonna be a, a bit of a complicated one, but let's. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to walk you guys through it. First thing we're gonna do is find the contract address of the farm that you're stuck in. So we're gonna head over to docs.elk.finance. That's gonna be in the description. Uh, and we're gonna hit addresses. Uh, and that's going to take us over here. So we want to find which round uh, we're deposited in, which one we're stuck in. If you need help with that, please let us know. Um, let's uh, let's use, um, you know, let's say we're stuck in Matic here, uh, also known as Polygon, uh, and and we'll uh, we'll go down here. We're we're stuck. Let's say in round one of uh, Polygon uh, farming way back uh, in, you know, April 2021. So let's say we're stuck for, for this example in the Matic, uh, what is now Legacy Elk Farm. And uh, this is a good example because when we go there, um, the previous method of withdrawing from the contract doesn't work because the contract isn't verified. All you see is a, is a bunch of bytecode. So don't panic, or we'll figure it out. So what we're gonna do first is grab this contract address uh, of the farm we're stuck in. So I know it's Matic L Elk, and I know it's April, uh, you know, in round one. So I'm gonna grab that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste it off screen here in Notepad for later, because we're gonna need that. So we're gonna copy that um, contract code. Now I happen to know at this, at the time of filming, none of these are able to be verified, any of these Matic. Uh, polygon contracts in round one because of an error in an upgrade to the block explorer. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to find a contract that is verified. So we're actually going to head over uh, to Avalanche because all our smart contracts have the same code for farming. Um, and we're going to go to this one from the same round that I know is verified. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open the AVAX L Elk um, contract. And you can use any one of these as long as they're verified, but just for ease of use. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna head over to that contract, go to the code, and you see here it says contract source code. This is what you're gonna copy. Uh, you could have copied it from Phantom or, or wherever else or whatever block explorer, as long as it was the same round. Um, so it's gonna look a little different. But what we're going to do here is copy the source code. And there's a nice button here on AVAX to do it. Otherwise, you could select all of this all the way to the bottom um, and, uh, you know, copy and, and, and paste that. But we're going to copy that source code. We're just going to use that button. Now, the next thing we're going to do uh, is note the Solidity version, the compiler version. So this is 0 0.76, uh, you know, 733-8295-F. That's going to be important for later, so we're going to want to note that down uh, because it will come in handy when we have to compile. So, okay. Overwhelmed yet? <laughs> All right. So we're going to head over to remix.ethereum.org. And again, I'm going to link that down below. So it's going to look a little intimidating, but trust me, it's really easy. And at this point, we're going to want to make sure that our MetaMask that we're on the network that we're trying to withdraw from, the farm that we're stuck in. So in this case, Matic. Uh, so we're gonna make sure we're on that network. Um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this little new file here. 
and it's going to pop up here and give us something. We can name this file whatever we want. We could throw whatever in there and press enter. Good. All right. We've got a new Solidity file. And so I've just copied that contract code, if you remember, from the Block Explorer for, for one of the verified contracts. What we're going to do is we're going to paste that in there. And then it's going to throw a whole bunch of stuff in there. Perfect. Um, so that's, that's what we want to do. Next, we want to head over, uh, once we've got that in there and saved as this .sol file, we're going to head down to the Solidity compiler. That's the second icon here. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure the compiler is uh, lines up with that number we noted before, uh, this, the compiler version, 0.7.6. And we're going we're gonna to grab that one, select it here in the menu, make sure it's the same. And we're just going to scroll down and we're going to hit compile. Now that's going to take a, a couple seconds. Um, and uh, boom, there we go. All right, it's compiled. So after this is finished, we're going to head down uh, to the deploy and run transactions. That's the, the third icon down here. And we're going to take the environment and we're going to change it to injected web three. Um, and what we're going to do here is, is we're going to have to connect our MetaMask to this. So I might have to kind of get it. There we go. I selected it. It's going to ask us to connect the account and I'm going to say, yep. And I'm going to connect. Great. So ensure that your account number that you're using, the account number that is stuck in that farm, very important. Make sure that is under account here. We're going to leave gas limit as, as it is. Um, then we're going to scroll down here to value. Now this is basically the a value of the transaction for, for way, the gas transaction, right? So tricky thing here is remember to change it to G way. That's what MetaMask prompts us with when it asks for gas. So now the value here is going to depend on your network. If we're doing AVAX, we want it, we want to put maybe 225 in here. Uh, or if we're doing Polygon, we can get away with 10 or even two, but you know, I like to set it a little bit higher. Phantom, you know, maybe we're gonna put, uh, you know, 200 or, uh, you know, 300, depending on how busy the network is. Um, so, or maybe Dai, XDai, which you won't be stuck in one of those farms, uh, you, you, the value would be one. So, since we're using Matic as an example of being stuck in the Matic LL farm from round one, we're gonna use a value of 10. Next, we're gonna head down to the contract and where it says address here. I'm actually going to uh, open this menu and scroll all the way down to staking rewards. And we're going to select that. Now, what uh, this at address here is basically the, the name of the contract that you're stuck in, the address of the contract you're stuck in. So this is the if we're stuck in the Matic L Elk farm from round one, remember we, we copied it and, and put it aside. Well, we're gonna go ahead and, and grab it and paste it in there. And then we'll hit paste, boom. Then we uh, actually click this blue button on add address here. And what that's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna throw a collapsed menu down here and we're gonna go ahead and uncollapse it. And it's gonna bring up all the functions for the farm. The, the orange ones are uh, write functions, and these are read functions, but don't worry about that for now. Um, so what you can do is you can go ahead and click exit. Now, it's going to give me a, a gas estimation failed here. Um, now, it's it's because I actually don't have any, any, any tokens in this farm. So, of course, with my address here, it's going to throw me this error. Uh, but, you know, we're just going to, we're going to ignore it and hit send transaction. And, uh, what, what's going to happen there is it's going to pop up um, with the gas we we uh, we suggested, um, you know, or or maybe less, right? So we can ensure we can make sure and change this to 10 and uh, 0.03 Matic. It's a little expensive, and uh, we could hit confirm, and that itself should exit the contract, get your uh, rewards. Uh, and any impermanent loss coverage, which keep in mind was only covered uh, from the start to the end of the f uh, the farming round at that point. So yeah, we would hit exit um, and that will send it through. It's a little complex, um, 
but uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, another thing to do here is you could always go down to the uh, balance of and paste your address in here to see if uh, if you actually have any tokens in here. If, the, if it pops up as zero, um, that actually means that you, you've already withdrawn your LP or you never put it in. So the importance here is making sure that you're actually choosing the right farm. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I hope that was clear. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching and uh, please let me know if this helped you. If it did, uh, please like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos uh, around, uh, around some tutorials. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.